Welcome back. Today, we're diving into an exciting showdown between two state-of-the-art iVideo generators, Runway Gen 3 Alpha Turbo and LTX STG. We'll compare their speed, video quality, prompt accuracy, and standout features to help you decide which one is right for you. Before we jump in, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe. It really helps the channel grow and keeps us bringing you cutting edge content. <laughs> Thank you so much for your support and let's get started. Let's start with a quick breakdown of what these models bring to the table. Many of you may already know LTX for its speed and local video generation technology, but LTX SDG, short, short for spatiotemporal skip guidance, is an entirely new approach that enhances video diffusion models. Unlike conventional methods that rely on auxiliary models or complex training, STG introduces a training free sampling guidance system. It selectively skips certain spatiotemporal layers within the model, creating a simplified yet aligned version of the original output. This enables LTX STG to generate quality, diverse and dynamic videos without compromising motion smoothness or temporal consistency. Runway Gen 3 Alpha Turbo is a cloud-based model that generates videos up to 128768 resolution at 24 fps. Its standout features include advanced camera controls for visually engaging transitions, zooms, and slow trucking movements. With a maximum input size of two keyframes, it offers fidelity, consistency, and motion improvements over previous generations. So, how do these two giants stack up in terms of speed, video quality, prompt adherence, and unique features? Let's find out. And before we jump in, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more deep dives into AI tools. Let's get started. To better understand LTX STG, let's break down the spatiotemporal skip guidance, SSTG technique, and its accompanying tools. STG uses a unique process to simplify video diffusion models by skipping residual blocks or attention layers. STG strikes a balance between high fidelity and dynamic range without requiring auxiliary models or additional training. One of the standout features of LTX STG is that it comes with pre-built example workflows to help users get started. These workflows demonstrate its capabilities across various tasks, such as RF, inversion, perfect for fine tuning content with precision, RF, edit ideal for solving and editing complex video diffusion challenges, image and video to video iTuffer V2V, a hybrid approach H allowing users to reference an image to guide video transformations. STG Hansa showcases how STG improves video diffusion sampling with clear comparisons of outputs with and without STG. Frame interpolation and setting allows fine grained control by assigning specific latents to different video frames for detailed adjustments. Let's see how Runway Gen 3 Alpha Turbo and LTX STG perform head to head. For this test, we use the same prompt to generate a short, a cinematic, high quality tracking shot from a portrait camera angle about a young woman with long blonde hair wearing a pink top. She is touching her hair with both hands while she looks at the viewer. First, let's talk about speed. While LTX STG took about 41 seconds to generate this video look, but that will depend on which GPU you're using. I'm running through a 4090. Runway Gen 3 Alpha Turbo was slightly slower due to its cloud-based architecture, but it still delivered impressive results within a reasonable time frame. Well, excluding the fact there's an extra hand there, which looks pretty awkward, the rest looks nice. Look how smooth is the hair besides couple artifacts. 
like this red tissue at the hands that suddenly disappears. But I love the hair movement and how the consistency was kept here. Now onto video quality. The Gen 3 Alpha Turbo output displayed higher resolution, better consistency across frames, and a more cinematic feel. In contrast, LTX STG delivered good quality, but had occasional artifacts and less detail in complex scenes. Finally, let's assess prompt adherence. Both models captured the essence of the input prompt. Gen 3 focuses more on staying consistent with the reference image and following the prompt instructions closely. However, it struggled with two details. The hair color remained brown and the top white, even though the prompt specified blonde and pink. On the other hand, with LTVest GT, you still need to provide both a video and an image to generate the final output, which isn't fair comparison. I discovered a workflow from the original LTX version that's closer in performance to Runway. However, it appears that the LTX models were trained at 728x5 and VUT12 resolution, which has strange results using portrait images. Which model fits your needs better? Is speed your priority? or do you need professional grade quality? Let us know in the comments below. And as always, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell for more AI content. Until next time, keep creating.